Hi everybody, it's Miss Jessie here, and I want to read you one of my favorite stories. It's called A New Friend for Marmalade, and it's about making new friends and accepting people even when they're a little different than you. So, here we go. Ella, Maddie, and Marmalade were best friends. And Marmalade's the little kitty over there. So cute. One morning, as the sun warmed their backs, they decided to build a playhouse. That sounds like so much fun. Toby, the boy from across the road, joined in. Here he is. Toby on his scooter. I really like his cape. So cool. Hi, Gracie. Ella shrugged and Maddie sighed. Marmalade peeped out in surprise. Wait till you see what happened. Oh, poor Toby knocked down the playhouse, but it looks like he was just trying to play with them. Doesn't look like he meant to do it. So the girls decided to build a sand castle city instead with wondrous towers, tunnels, and rivers. Marmalade lolled in the sun watching the girls smooth the sand until... So there's their sand castle city. There's Marmalade. So cute. A whirlwind cartwheeled through the sand pit. Maddie scowled and Ella frowned. Hmm. Marmalade rubbed his head against Toby. Hi, Evie. Toby knelt and petted the cat. You're stroking his fur wrong said Ella, but Marmalade rolled over and purred. Mm, I don't think Marmalade agrees. I think Toby's petting him just the right way. Hi, Brody. Hi, Colin. That afternoon, Ella rebuilt their ruined city. They repaired every bridge, they reshaped every tower, and they even added a moat. A moat is like a little river of water that sometimes goes around a castle. I'll fill the moat, said Toby. There's the really cool castle. And there's Toby helping out and I see marmalade. So cute. Hi, Zachy. Toby jumped up and twisted on the faucet. Marmalade leaped into the tree as the lawn erupted into fountains of water. Oh no, Toby turned the sprinkler on and not just the hose. Hi, Iggy. <clears throat> Maddie humped. Ella grumped. Shivering, the girls dried themselves off in the sunshine. There they are, they're soaking wet from their little sprinkler surprise. And there's Toby, and I think Toby kind of feels bad. He looks a little nervous. High up in the tree, Marmalade slunk further and further along the branch, cast, cast, chasing the last ray of sun when Crack. Oh no, the branch is starting to break. The branch trembled in the breeze. Marmalade let out a small scared meow. Maddie stretched up. I'll catch you. Marmalade's claws tightly gripped onto the branch. Oh no. What's gonna happen? Leap onto the rake, shouted Ella. Marmalade swung slowly back and forth. He clung on tighter and tighter.
Toby whipped off his cape. Grab a corner, he said to the girls. Then he shouted to Marmalade, jump! Oh boy, I knew I liked his cape for a reason. He's using it to catch Marmalade. Marmalade squeezed his eyes shut and let go. The next morning, there was no playhouse. There was no bridges or towers or moats. Ella, Maddie, and Toby played a new game. And this is my favorite part. They all wore capes. Even marmalade. Thanks for sharing that story with me. I miss you all and hope to see you soon. Bye.